What's up everyone, welcome back to Workshop Rebuild. In today's episode, I'll focus on the BMW R60 slash 5 frame. I want to remove all the paint and the rust on this frame in today's episode. And to do that, I'll use a new cleaning method, which is laser cleaning. I haven't showed this much on my channel, but I've previously cleaned up this swing arm. And as you can see, it is perfectly clean of rust, primer and paint. So everything has been removed. And in today's episode, I want to get this frame looking just like that swing arm right there. So I can see if there's any hidden damage on any of the welds. Once I go through the whole frame, it'll be ready for primer and paint. And hopefully it'll look like brand new again. This is currently how the frame looks like towards the back. We have a couple rock chips and on the bottom we have a little uh, rust and a couple rock chips as well. Towards the front of the frame, everything still looks pretty healthy. But I want to remove all the paint so I can have a look at all these welds and see if everything is intact. Right under the fuel tank, there is this bigger cross member and it is still in great condition, but I want to remove all the paint as well. Now over here, we also have the rear frame section. I will be cleaning this up as well. Uh, there's not much damage over here, a little bit of rust uh, where the hinges are for the seat. So I will be removing all that paint in today's video. But this right here is the cleaned swing arm, which I've previously cleaned up with the laser cleaning machine. And this is the outcome. As you will notice when I give you guys a close up, the metal is like brand new. That's what I'm going for. Obviously we do see a couple rock chips in that area on the swing arm and down below. Uh, that's very normal because rock chips just flick up from the road and uh, create some pitting. And that's where we also have rust in our paint or on our metal. So I will be fixing this all up in a future video. But today's video will be all about cleaning this paint from the frame. If any of you have questions about this cleaning method throughout this video, leave a comment down below and don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoy the content I share with you guys. I finished up the BMW R60 slash 5 frame with the laser cleaner and all the paint, all the primer and all the rust came off this frame and I'll give you guys a close up view on how it looks and what I found after I cleaned everything up. I laid the motorcycle frame on its side and as you will see the laser cleaning machine cleaned it up very nicely. Uh, the frame itself, the welds and some of the pieces which are welded on. Uh, over there I was able to clean inside and out. All the welds cleaned up very nicely again towards the front uh, it's very intricate over here but i was able to shoot in all directions and get everything cleaned up uh, the laser cleaning machine does not damage the metal itself it only cleans what is on top of the surface so that's a very big advantage when it comes to laser cleaning uh, media blasting does harm the surface uh, for a motorcycle frame it wouldn't be that bad but i wanted to point something out on the back uh, and that's why i wanted to clean this frame anyways it wasn't actually in bad condition but since i'm rebuilding it or restoring it i want to give it a good layer or coating of primer and paint so it will prolong the lifetime of this frame as you will see it's in very good condition even towards the bottom where i saw rock chips 
Um, there are a couple little dents here and there, but nothing too serious. I will clean this all up and this frame will last another 50 years, hopefully. But towards the back, like on this side, I noticed a crack on this cross member or this support bracket and just right here as well. I hope that focuses. So right there we have a crack and I don't know if this is like a little flaw or if this happens to almost all the frames, but I'm gonna have to fix that and I'm glad I cleaned this up because I, I would have not seen that. And obviously, uh, if this is just welded to this side of the frame, that's not very good. You will need more strength from left to right. And if there's a crack right there, it's possible that this weld on the outside will suffer as well. So I'm gonna have to fix that in the near future before I give this frame any primer. And I will have to go through all the welds and make sure that they're still in good condition. Since the main frame is finished, I'm gonna put this aside and focus on the rear frame section. I'm gonna clean this up quickly. Once that's done, the swing arm, the rear frame section, and the main frame are perfectly clean. I can focus on primer and paint in an upcoming video. Many of you guys have asked how I prepare for primer and paint, so I will share with you guys my workflow in an upcoming video. to clean all three parts which are over here on the ground i gave you guys a bunch of action shots and i hope you guys enjoyed this cleaning process this is brand new to me and i'm still trying to figure out how the machine works exactly so i'm gonna have a better understanding of this in the near future i'm also working on a brand new corner in the shop so i will have future videos in that corner specifically related to this laser cleaning process I will do all this cleaning in that corner and I'll also do some other projects in that corner so it will be interesting to see your guys' reaction once I'm done with that corner and I share that with you guys. I have a little bit of work to do behind the scenes but once I'm ready I'll bring you guys back for a primer and paint session and I'll also have an upcoming video on the transmission and I will be assembling that very soon so stick around if you guys are interested in that.